Here we go. We are live. Don't know what happened with the Wi-Fi there. Have you ever done one of those, those uh, what they call when you spin around like that? Really cool. Uh, <laughs> and if you keep going, the room spins. Anyway, don't mean to make you sick. Anyway, to start you off, now we've settled, you're feeling calm, you're feeling relaxed, you're feeling very nice now. Um, so I'm here with Miss Elizabeth Banks, and we are in a swanky, look at that lighting behind, we're in a swanky hotel in, uh, in London. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, guys. How you doing? And uh, we're here to talk about something very special. It's a brand new tool on the market. It's a mat. It's not a bath mat. It's actually an exercise mat because Elizabeth, as you can see, is exercise related. I am as well. I'm a little bit overdressed for this, but uh, you'll understand why I'm in interview mode rather than exercise mode. But I will be trying out some exercises in a moment. So if you want to have a laugh, maybe I'm going to fall over. Maybe I won't. You should stay tuned for that. And uh, Elizabeth's going to take us through this new tool. So I'll let her explain it. The name of it is Platform 9. Platform 9? Yep, Platform 9. And yep. she will explain what it is and, and where it came from very quickly. Cool. I'm really excited to introduce this to you guys. So this is Platform 9. We are Procedos, and we are in the pursuit of our better. Um, so Platform 9 is basically nine dots. It's a platform that you can move on, that you can jump on. Um, and I see this really as a communication tool. So for the clients that I'm working with, to get them to move how I want them to move. So I tend to be a little bit geeky and a little bit detailed and I've got a lot of knowledge that I want to share. So what the platform does is allow me to just communicate that in a really simple way. So, so when, you say, when you say communicate uh, in a better way, is it a way of rather than trying to tell your client move, you know, put your right foot here, abduct your knee, you yeah. know, that kind of thing, you can say just put your foot on number nine. Exactly. So I will have gone through an assessment with them. Um, a lot of the people that come and see me are having pain, injury and niggles and can't move well and do the things that they want to do. So once I've found out the source of the problem, I can say, OK, for example, I might need to give them more um, load and movement through their right hip. So I can say, OK, put your right foot on number three. Mm -hmm. And if I want to do more internal rotation, I say, put your foot on the white line. And then I might add a little drive. So that I'm loading onto the, the right glute, but I don't need to get into all of that detail with them, and I can just tell them, okay, step on number three, right foot here, left foot here, and then we have different angulations, so if you come down on with me, perfect, so we've got all of the, the red lines onto different angulations, so I can be very precise about which way I might drive that movement for them. And what then, would be the benefit of uh, the different angles and getting people to move in different ways? So we have a, a sphere of movement, and generally we don't move through our full sphere of movement. So a lot of the exercises that we do, so think about your, your movement perhaps on the treadmill or the rower or those types of things, are all in one line of movement. And what we want to do is explore a bigger range and a bigger sphere of movement so that we're able to do the things we want to do. So what, what benefit would that have for, for exploring that bigger range of movement? I'm trying to get a better light here behind us. <laughs> And there's yeah, a guy on a rower. If you can't hear us, let us know. We might, we might need to talk a, bit, a little bit louder. Um, so what ch challenging that range of movement in different directions, what benefit would that have for the, for the average person? So that means that I, I will have explored that movement in this safe way already. So if I'm going to go and play football at the weekend or squash or walking or picking up the kids, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you need to have gone there already with your body. So if you spend all of your time... So, for example, if I just show you a lunge... So if I spend all my time just lunging forwards and back, and when I go and play sport, actually my knee comes into a different position, and I haven't trained for that, then I could be in trouble. So working through the procedure system, we make sure that you're robust enough to be able to do what you're trying to do, whether that's just, you know, life or sport, performance, okay. whatever Okay, so I think is. what's important here, because I know a little bit more about Elizabeth than, than some of you guys may, what um, what be interesting was... Elizabeth has done loads of work, like more work than you can even think of. Her knowledge is way above and beyond. So the problem is that when she tries to articulate that knowledge, it's, it's like... People get a bit lost. It's like a foreign language, right? Can so yeah. she yeah. knows, she can tell by your movement patterns what's going on, why you may be suffering joint pain, why you can't get rid of a niggling injury, why you keep getting a repetitive injury in the same position. And she'll be able to figure that out for you and then figure out and determine and work out a program for you that could actually eradicate that pain that's been niggling you for such a long time. Mm. But 
you know, tell us a little bit about your background and what you did with the Greys, uh, Grey Institute. the Grey Institute yeah. and, and yeah. what you did there. So a lot of the, the people that come to see me, whilst they might not be in really acute pain, you know, like really, really debilitated, and I do see some of those people, often what happens is, is the stories that I hear are, oh, I used to be able to run, but now my knees hurt, and we carry these labels of I'm so-and-so with the bad knee or the bad back and these things, and, and we really don't need to be that way. And so if we train in the correct way, move in the correct way, um, we're able to enjoy life better. And that's really what, what drives me. Yeah, so, so I'm, that's what drives me is happiness, right? You always know my why. And if you haven't watched that video, go and you know, check it out after. Yeah, really you important. Find out yeah. your why. And it's happiness. Yeah. For me, I, I'm a personal trainer. That's what I do. How I do it is I meet people face to face, take them for one on one sessions. I also do coaching online. And through these conversations and live, I share information and I answer questions. But why I do that is happiness, because I think that when you're healthy, then you can only truly be happy. You can't enjoy your life unless you're happy. So um, that's essentially what Elizabeth is saying. We need to find a way that we can get freedom from our pain and have freedom of movement in our body so then we can go and enjoy our lives more. Yeah. So let's, let's look at a way that Elizabeth would assess someone. She's going to assess me now. And uh, don't laugh. And, uh, <laughs> and, and let's see what, how it works. So let's have a little look at it. So Elizabeth, take us through some movements. So normally there's like a really long assessment process. Um, I use gait a lot in my assessment, but one of the real great ways that I can use the platform is I can just take a simple movement and what my client's able to experience is how does that feel, let's just say, from one side to the other. So, then if I get to jump on the platform, and let's just um, start on right foot on number two, and then you're gonna step your left foot around to left 135. So we're driving that angulation around to the left. So you're gonna step one left foot around to 135. So if you just take a couple of those and just feel how that feels. And what you're kind of tuning into is how that feels through your, your right hip. So for example, those of you that are trainers and will know this, we're looking at certain movements in the right hip. When I get him to jump around to the next side, so let's just jump on left foot number two, perfect. I'm going to set right foot down to right one, three, five. So, because Daniel's a trainer and he moves really well, you're probably not going to see a night and day difference at this point. But often what we'll see is... Try and do it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> try and do typical client mode. So, often what we see is, you know, a, a real difference of, okay, how that client goes about that movement. Um, how it feels for them, and the obvious one, range of motion. So I'm able to pick that up. Then I might say, okay, we might need to drive a little bit more um, internal rotation on that side. So let's say your right hip's a little bit more comfy. Yep. So I might want to do right foot on number three. Perfect. And then you can see right foot is now your standing leg, okay? yep. and left foot is going to be... <laughs> it's a crisis kid moment. Uh, and left foot is now going to go... Each dot, okay? And what I'm going to have you do with your hand is I'm going to get you to drive both hands to right 45 degrees, okay, at about knee height. So as you step through. Uh, okay, so I go on each one. You go on each okay. one, yeah. So that Perfect, cool, and then you step through, good. So what we're now experiencing is a bigger load on Daniel's right hip. But he's just exploring the dots. It's not a, okay, how many of these have I got to do? And what's great is then the client can see, okay, well, a few of those are really easy, but actually then a couple are a little bit more sticky or a bit more gunky, and they get to learn about their own movement and their own body. How's that feel? Yeah, interesting. What I found about that is the first thing I'll find out from that is if I'm weaker in one quad than the other, because that I could feel that working, not that it was an overload for me, but... If I switch to my left quad, maybe I'm going to find that uh, I'm not as strong in my left quad. So therefore, we'll figure out, okay, one quad is dominant or one quad is not strong enough as it needs to be. So that's the first thing I would pull out of that straight away. Yeah. Uh, give us another one. What's more challenging? What's that? So this, we've looked a little bit kind of more on the restore side of things and restoring motion, but of course we've got the performance side of things as well. So we use this with athletes and, and teams, so if we line up the platforms, it's a great way to work with many more people at once. So, for example, if you if you needed a, a jump as part of your, your sport, so this is going to be great in your, in your jeans, <laughs> and proper shoes, let's give it a go. So if you start on the left side of the platform, you start off the platform, yeah. Yeah. So only need to jump, we're going to do a rotation, 
So we need to rotate to 90 degrees. Okay? So you're going to start from here and you're going to hit the dot to, to land on. So from here, you're going to jump and land. Cool. So we can start with off platform and just exploring that and making sure that he's good to go on that. And then what we can do is get you on the platform. So now let's get you one and two. Perfect. And you're going to do that same 90 degree jump. Okay, so you're coming from on the platform to off the platform. Cool. Nice. And then you come one and three. Perfect. And jump. It's going to make you work a little bit now. How's that? Yep. One and four. So, number one. There we go, one and four. Like yep, like that. Yep. So, zero degrees, yep. And you're still going to do that same 90 degree jump. I'm going to end up facing that way. Yep. And this is a great example now because his brain's gone, oh, I need to compute that and figure this out. So, there's a greater neural drive, so there's going to be greater, the bigger things going on before I go down geek mode, okay? So, let's just have a look. Nice. Perfect. All right, so why, why was this created and who was it created by? Yeah, so this was, this was created by Seth Rongen from Sweden, and he's a gift fellow as well, so um, we shared the, the same education experience at the Gray Institute, which is really kind of the pinnacle of, of functional movement, and I'm really proud to be associated with the Gray Institute because it's really given me a, a fantastic base to be able to, to understand human movement. And, I think you know, I'm in the process of, of understanding human movement, and yeah. it's a, a journey. But I know I know someone um, who recommended um, Elizabeth highly when they said um, they went to see her and they she did a gait analysis. So just watch them walking, and they said they'd had some pain in their hip and they hadn't realised what the problem was. They thought I don't know what it is. I've tried a few things, and they what Elizabeth noticed was one of the one of their feet was dragging slightly. And she gave some corrective movements actually to do with the eyes. Yeah. It was to do with looking at the thumb and the eyes. It was really off, <laughs> off where you think it would be. So it was counterintuitive. And that actually lined up the neurological system again and got rid of the pain that they were having and straightened up their foot when they were walking. Weird but true. So that's, this is some of the, the tricks that Elizabeth has up her sleeve. So what are, what are some of your other focuses, your, your disciplines, and what drives you to do this? What's your why? So it's, it's really great, and just to pick up on what you said about the, the eye movements, because um, I'm, I'm also kind of a, a neuro geek, I'm, I'm a student of neurology, and this, I'm blending this with my education of the biomechanics, because of course we're, we're all of those things. So we navigate the world by, by our eyes, by looking where we're going, um, by our vestibular system and our proprioceptive system. So those three systems need to be online and coordinated and talking and doing the same things. So we can have something that, you know, if, if one of those systems is off, just like your sat-nav, you've got three satellites um, to triangulate your position. No, if, um, hey, Sasha. Hey, <laughs> Sasha. Uh, and if you have one of those systems which is off, you're not going to end up in the right place. So it's really important to, to get those systems talking together. Um, to answer your question on the why, so I'm, you know, I'm an athlete, I do movement, I do sport, and stuff got broken down, and you know, I was experiencing a lot of injuries, and I got frustrated because sometimes I'd go and see people and I'd get a great result, I'd go back to the sport, and things would start to be a bit painful again, and I just wasn't robust enough to be able to really do the things that I want to do. So I thought, well, there must be a better way than just not doing my sport because that doesn't make my soul feel very good. Mm. So I want to be able to still do the things I want to do and that's kind of led me on the journey that, that I'm on now and now I can do the things I want to do and be pain-free and I want to share that message with as many people as I can because I really believe that there, there is a better way to be doing this. Amazing. So we, we share a, a similar message. That's why Elizabeth and I get on. We like to help people. Um, so... What, is, what do you see as the, the uh, future of what you're doing, Elizabeth, and what is the future of this platform? So, platform 9. <laughs> platform 9. What we're looking for at the moment is... Let me um, come this side. Yeah. My, my arm's That's actually right. hurting. So, <laughs> so we, we are going to be launching education um, in, in the UK and probably London first for the Platform 9. So we have a really fantastic... Um, Education day is, 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 is a long day, it's eight hours, so we've got a lot of information to put in there. But if you think about the, the so program... So that for, that's for trainers, like that's, people in the education business who are in health and wellness? That's, yeah, that's for fit pros. Um, there's, you know, we also have people that might be interested just for their, their own movements to come along with that. So it's done in such a way that it's going to make sense for whoever you are. But yes, we are, we are targeting fit pros for that. 
so that they have a system to, to better communicate and get their clients move, moving okay, so better as well. Elizabeth and I talked about this before. So what, what, partly what this is for is if you're a trainer out there and you've got some clients and you have some issues, one, you could send them to see some, another specialist and they, you've helped that person. So you've referred someone else and they've eradicated that problem and they can, you can get back to training them the way they want and the goals that you're working on them with, um, working with them on whichever way that is, you understand me. So, um, or you could come and actually join Elizabeth and, and her team and she can actually take you through the training course yourself that is actually another tool and another skill that you can take into your business and develop your business further. Now on the flip side, I know you're also offering uh, consultations for people because you want to get the platform out there and for anyone who's suffering with an issue with a hip or a shoulder or, or a neurological or movement issue, you're also offering consultations around that as well. Yeah, so I, I see people on a one-to-one on a -one basis as well as delivering the, the education for Platform 9. So if you are having problems, then, then let us know in, in the comments and I'd, I'd love to see if I can help you. Um, in terms of the, the education side of it, I think one of the things that would be really great as, as a trainer is if you're able to give your client something which they can do in between seeing you. So if they're able to see you once a week, great. If they're able to see you twice a week, great. Three times, great. But we all know that actually they need to be doing more things in between those sessions with you directly. So if you can get them moving effectively and also your client to be confident with what they're doing, it's a way that you can explain and communicate with your clients, hey, you know, we're going to go through this lunge matrix as an example, and your client's like, ah, I don't know what that is. It's really clear for them because they just need to jump on the platform and go through those, those movements. Nice. Monica, I just want to say hello. You said hello. I want to say hello back. And uh, Brett, how are you, mate? Out in the States now. Still wearing a baseball cap, I'm sure. Okay, baseball cap, I'm sure. Watching this, I hope your little boy's safe and sound and happy. And uh, Gina and Oni, welcome on board. Hope you're enjoying the, the show so far. We're talking about Platform Nine. I'm here with Elizabeth Banks. And so, finishing up, coming towards the end, we we talked about how this can help movement patterns. How this how this can help get rid of niggling injuries. Is there anything else that we've missed that you won't really want to drive home a point about that you? something about the platform that's special? What makes it different to what's out there already? So I, I, have, I myself haven't seen anything else like this. Um, we, uh, there, there are other kind of movement grids, but one of the things which is really unique is, is the material that this is made from. So we've, we've spoken a little bit more on the kind of restore side of things and um, kind of bringing movement back, but actually this can really be used for performance as well in an athletic sense. So for example, if I'm, I'm going to jump on this, it's not not going to go anywhere. Um, it's a lovely material to, to, be, to be working on. It feels really nice. We also do on ground, um, so kind of working actually with my hands on it. Yeah, nice. Um, end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so you can it, have this at home really and nice. you can work with yeah. it in the gym as well, yeah. is what's being said. So how do people, uh, I will pop Elizabeth's details in the comment box below and the few things that we've gone through um, so you can see what we've talked about and how to get in contact with Elizabeth. Um, I knew you was wearing a cap, Brett, I knew you would be, mate, <laughs> and holding the baby, it's great. Um, so I'll pop Elizabeth details in the box below. You can click through to her, send her a personal message, connect with her on Facebook. She's an amazing person. She's really out to help you. She really wants to do some good in the world and, and really be of service. So how, would you want to, how do you want to finish off? Any other tips you want to say to anyone out there? What, what's, the, what's the number one tip you could give them today? Explore your movement. Explore your movement, you heard it here. So remember guys, health is a skill that you can learn and this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get happy, let's take the world with us. Have an amazing day. Cool, many thanks Daniel. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. See you soon guys, take care.